All right, so I'm just going to record the meeting and see how best we can cover these topics or cover some questions within the five minute period that we have remaining. All right, so again, I am Mr. Forbes and I will be assisting with maths to the best of my ability. Now, the first topic that we're going to look at is we're going to look at integers. Have you ever heard about integers before? Yes, sir. All right, so our guided questions, what are integers? Do you remember what integers are? No, sir. All right, how do I perform the four basic operations on integers? Now, do you remember that as well? I don't remember this, sir. Right. So these are our lesson objectives for today. So we're going to give a definition for what integer is, which you already know, but I'm going to refresh your memory with that. And then we're going to look at performing the four basic operations on integers. Now, with that said, this is the first thing we should note, right? We're supposed to note that integers are whole numbers from a set of negative, non-negative, and positive numbers. Now, when I say negative numbers, these are just the numbers that have the little slash in front of it or that have a minus sign in front of it. So an example of a negative number is a negative five as highlighted right there, right? We also have another negative number which is a negative 25 and a zero is considered to be the only non-negative number. Well, not really non-negative, but zero is neither negative nor positive, right? So it's like, it's absolute. Then we have our positive numbers that we have been used to and we have been using coming up through the streams, right? Now in moving along, we're now going to be able to look and identify certain things. Now, when performing addition, subtraction, and multiplication or division on integers, we have to bear in mind some small things. Now, I'm going to share a whiteboard with you. Let me know if you are, share, if you are able to see the whiteboard. I'm seeing, sir. All right, so we're seeing the whiteboard. Sir. All right. Now, with this whiteboard, what we're going to look at, we're going to first look at how to add and subtract integers. Now, as I said earlier on, they are negative and positive numbers. That's all they are. Now, what if we see this on a test table? What would my answer be? Um, five. And just like that, we know that it is five. What if we saw this, however? What would our answer be? One. One, All right. Now, just like that, let us put all of these on a number line. Now, if we have a number line, we know that it starts at zero. Then we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, in identifying that my two plus three does give me five, I will start at my two and then I will jump three spaces to the right. Yes, which is a forward. So I start at two and I'll go one, two, three. So just like that, I'll get my five. So anytime we have a positive or if we have a plus, it means that I'm jumping forward. Agreed? Yes, sir. Right, let us put our minus now on the next number line. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
Now, just like the addition, it's the same thing for the subtraction. But this time, we must determine which direction we're jumping. So again, we start at our three, which is our first digit. Now, this time we see a minus two. So we're jumping backwards by two spaces. It is one, two, and just like that, that is how I get my one. So backwards jump. Anytime I see a negative. Is there any question right there, sir? No, sir. I fully I understand. Good. Now, what we're going to look at now, we're going to look at integers in themselves. Now, remember this little note that the plus we go forward and the minus we go backwards. All right? Yes, sir. All right, let's clear all the join. What if we see a negative five plus three? Now, first thing first, let us now draw our number line. And in the middle, we'll have zero. To my right of the zero, I'll have all positive numbers. To my left of my zero, I will have all negative numbers, which is just a reflection of the positive numbers. However, I'm going to put a negative in front of them. So this is my number line. Now, from the looks of things, which number are we going to start at? From the negative five. So we're going to start at the negative five. And which direction will I jump? Will I jump forward or will I jump backward? Forward. And how much will I jump forward by? Three times. Three times. One, two, three. And just like that, my answer to this question is exactly where I am. So a negative five plus three gives me a negative two. Any questions there, sir? No, sir. All right. Now it's all right. So we have four more minutes to go. Let's give you guys four more minutes. Now, just like that, we are finished with that. Let us look at negative one minus three. Now, a negative one minus three. Again, which number am I going to start with? The negative. Negative. I'm going to start with a negative. Yes, sir. But negative what? Negative three, negative, negative one. Negative one. So I'm going to start at my negative one. And if I start at my negative one, I'm going to now jump three spaces. Which direction? Backwards. All right. So I'm going to jump three spaces backwards. That's one, two, three. And just like that, I'm now at negative four. Now, have you seen a pattern or have you seen where we can look at really large numbers that we can't put in a number line, but we are going to end up with our same answer? No, sir. No? All right. Let's remove the signs. Five and three. What operation can I do to five and three for it to become a two? I can. Sir, can you repeat? I'm looking at the numbers five and three, and I want it to become a two. What operation can I do to it for it to become a two? Uh, so right. a positive two or a negative two? No, it's just 
it's just a tool. We just, we, we're not looking at the science for now. We're just looking at becoming a tool. So let us ignore the science for now. So if we have five things, right? What can I do to the five things for it to become, right, two? So we can um, negative five um, plus negative three. No. Let's not look at the negatives. So if I have five fingers up, right? So initially I have five fingers up. What can I, what did I do with the three of them now to leave me with two fingers up? You subtract I them. Subtract them. So just like that, that was the term that I was looking for. I was looking for a subtraction. Now, let us pay keen attention. Remember it was a negative five and a plus three. Now, when we subtracted them, we are going to get a two, right? But on the number line, it gives, gives me a negative two. Now, just like that, Right there, so once you identify that both numbers have different signs, any questions? Yes, or guys, no, sure. All right now, let us look at this example. What if I had a negative 10 plus a six? First thing first, do I have different signs working with? Guys? Yes, sir. So we have different signs working with, so we have to subtract. Now, if I have 10 and I give away six, how much do I now have? Three. Not three. So put up 10 fingers, and then you take down four, six. Sir. So if I have, good. So the four is correct. So would it be um, negative four. five? It's not going to be Two, five. Four, I mean. Four, sir. But it's going to be negative four. So the four is correct. And now we have to now pay attention to our signs. Now, earlier, because the five, which is much larger than the three, had the negative, right? We realized that our answer kept the negative sign. So just at like this, we realized that the 10, which is much larger than the six, have a negative sign. So our answer will keep our negative sign. All right, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And please remember, we start at 5.30, guys. So it's not at 6.30. All right, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please so please remember 5.30 tomorrow. So we're going to continue with our addition and subtraction, and hopefully we can move into multiplication and division at the other classes to come. All right, enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow at 5.30. Yes, sir. All right, take care. Thank you, sir.